Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at while loops inside of blueprints. So a while loop is another common type of loop that you are going to see in most programming languages and it is also something that you can use inside of blueprints. So just to refresh, a loop is essentially a node which is going to repeat a sequence of code. Now there's different types of loops which are going to do different types of things. If you look at the last video, we took a look at a for loop which is going to repeat that process until the index gets to the defined value. So you can tell it to repeat a series of code a set amount of times. A while loop, which is what we're going to be looking at in today's video, is essentially going to continue to do that sequence of code of yours while the condition is true. So you'll notice with this while loop, we've got the loop body, which is essentially the code that it's going to do, but it's asking for a condition. And as long as this condition is true, it's going to keep looping that code. So you can see here at the moment, the condition is that test integer is less than 10. So it's going to keep on doing this loop while test integer is less than 10. And then within my loop body, essentially what I'm doing is just adding one to it each time and printing that string. Now, there is a lot of stuff that you got to be careful with with loops, otherwise it can break things quite easily, especially with while loops. You need to make sure that that condition is going to change at some point, otherwise it's going to become what is known as an infinite loop and just crash the game. You'll see that a little bit later on in the episode. But anyway, what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to take a moment to show you how to set up a while loop. So within my level blueprint, to create one you simply right click and type in while loop and then just put one of these in here. Now we're going to hook this up to our begin play and from here what we need to do is put in a condition. So like I said earlier, this loop is going to continue while this condition is true. Now for us, what I'm going to do is grab my test integer and with this, I'm going to drag out from the condition and I can type anything in. Now, I could work with a boolean, I could work with a float, a vector, it's entirely up to you. But for making this simple, an integer is probably going to be the easiest way to do this. So what I'm going to do is type in integer. Now, at the bottom, we've got a couple of things that we can use as conditions. So we've got equal in range integer less than, less than or equal to, more than, more than equal to, and not equal to. So all of these are going to return a true or false variable, um, which we can put into this condition here. Now, most of these are pretty straightforward to so less than, more than, and equal to. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward. You can play around with this. What I'm going to do is just use the less than. So, so long as the test integer is less than 10, it's going to return true and it's going to keep doing it. Now in my loop body, if I set my test int or what I can do, I can do increment int. What this is going to do is basically add one to the value and then set it. What I can do with this is just add one to it each time. And at the moment, if I collect, uh, select my test int on the left, you can see I've got it set to zero. So by doing this, what it's going to do is essentially run this piece of code 10 times. Um, so whatever I add after this is going to be run. So if I want to print a string or spawn something in the game or play a sound, you can do that. It's entirely up to you. But what this is going to do is check to see if it's less than 10. And once it reaches 10, it's going to stop and it's going to finish. And whatever you hook up to completed, it is going to run that code. Now what I'm going to do with this, just so you can see it, is I'm going to hook up the result of that increment into the print string. So what you should see is in the top left hand corner, you should have a print string that goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it should stop there and go no further. So if we compile this and press play, 
top left hand corner you can see that it goes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and goes all the way up and it's only going to increment that integer while that condition is true and that condition once again was just that test integer is less than 10. If I was to set this to something like 5, it would only do it a few times. So it'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and you can see that just there, which is perfect. So hopefully you guys are starting to understand just how a while loop works. Now, one thing that I did mention earlier is something called an infinite loop. Now, if we was to get rid of the increment integer and just do print string with nothing to change that condition so the conditions always going to return true um, what it's going to do if I compile press play you're going to notice it's going to freeze give it a couple of seconds and what you should get is an error whereby it just sort of infinitely just tried to say hello on the left hand side as you saw there and it sort of just broke things and you cannot play. So what you do need to make sure you do is that, that do is that you set up within your loop body a way for your condition to change eventually. But anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to take a look at for while loops. Have a little experiment with that, have a little play around, but that is everything for today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.